Hello, this is Dr. Kilgore from Dr. Kilgore's World with another flipped math learning video. Our learning goal tonight is I can represent fractions in simplest form. So by the end of this lesson, you should be able to change fractions to the simplest form by using division. Make sure that you have your learning goal written in your math notes. So we've got fraction vocabulary. Remember, you have two options. You can either add the vocabulary to your regular math notes, or you can put it in that vocabulary folder that we've started. So vocabulary for tonight, first one is simplest form. That's what this lesson is all about. When it that is when the numerator and the denominator have no common factors other than one. It is the absolute smallest form of that fraction that we can come up with. The greatest common factor, also known as GCF, is the greatest number that is a factor for two numbers. So the greatest common factor is actually the easiest way to do simplest form. Okay, so here are our strategies for simplifying fraction success. Now you probably want to know that this is also called reducing fractions. You will hear teachers, you will see um, notes and everything that use those terms a little bit interchangeably. So anytime somebody says simplify or reduce a fraction, these are going to be your choices for steps. Today I have two separate strategies that you can use, that you can choose to use. Neither is better than the other one. The second one is like your one-stop shop, but the first one works as well. So strategy number one, you're going to divide the numerator and denominator by the same number until you can't divide anymore. Or strategy number two, you're going to divide the numerator and denominator by the greatest common factor. So let's look at a little bit of practice here and see what we can come up with this strategy. So our first fraction is 16 30 seconds. So by strategy one, I'm going to divide by the same number until I can't divide anymore. So let's divide by the fraction 2 halves. 16 divided by 2 is 8. 32 divided by 2 is 16. I can still divide by 2 by both the numerator and denominator. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 16 divided by 2 is 8. Again, I can still divide. Four divided by two is two, and eight divided by two is four. And again, I can still divide. This is the divide it strategy. You will see that I'm doing a lot of work to get this fraction reduced. Two divided by two is one. Four divided by two is two. That is one half. So let's look at strategy number two. 16, 30 seconds. I know 16 can be divided by itself and get one. 32 can also be divided by 16. So my greatest common factor is 16. 16 divided by 16 is one. 32 divided by 16 is 2. Either way, this fraction reduces to 1 half. Strategy 1, I did a whole lot more work, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Strategy number 2, I did the one-stop shop. So one set of division, and I got to my simplest form. Let's do a couple more examples together. My next one is 10 fourteenths. They're both even. I always like starting with two because I'm good at my twos. 
10 divided by 2 is 5. 14 divided by 2 is 7. 5 sevenths. There's nothing else I can divide into 5 and 7. That means my greatest common factor really was 2 for, seven, for um, 10 and 14. Um, let's look at 30 fortieths. I know 5 is a factor, so I'm going to try dividing by 5 fifths. 30 divided by 5 is 6. 40 divided by 5 is 8. I can still go down. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So 3 fourths. Now if I want to do my one-stop shop, could take my 5 and my 2, that would be mean that 10 would be my greatest common factor. 30 divided by 10 is 3. 40 divided by 10 is 4. That would still make the simplest form 3 fourths. Okay, so let's get some try it on your own fractions. Um, let's have you do 10 fifteenths. Three sixths. And six forty seconds. So pause the video right now. Work out these three fractions, reduce them to lowest terms, and then come back and check with me as I simplify the fractions as well. Okay, welcome back. I know that 5 is a factor of both 10 and 15. 10 divided by 5 is 2. 15 divided by 5 is 3. That means my lowest terms is 2 thirds. I know that 3 is a factor of 6, so I'm going to divide by 3 thirds. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 6 divided by 3 is 2. Simplest form is 1 half. And 6 40 seconds. Well, 6 will go into 42, so I'm going to use that as my 6 divided by 6 is 1, 42 divided by 6 is 7, so 1 7, okay? Thanks for tuning in tonight. Good luck on your simplifying fractions, and I will see you in the next math video.